this is CJ Darlington here today to talk to you about what went into the design of the covers in the Jupiter Winds series for uh, Jupiter Winds and Jupiter Storm. Uh, Jupiter Winds being book one and Jupiter Storm being book two. And as you can see, these are the finished products that we have on the screen here. And some of the coloring might be a little off on this video, but it gives you a good idea of what we were, what we were doing and what we have. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the original designs that we had because we went through quite a bit for Jupiter Winds, at least 15 different ideas and concepts that didn't work. Um, so as you can see, um, this is one of the really early um, concepts that I had for this story. I have the big, big title and the girl, the girl Gray Alexander, you know, st staring off into the distance and very, very, very rough all of this uh, was, but I was just fooling around with what I was looking to do. And again, you have a similar, actually this one might have come first. Um, I had the swirling clouds, that idea, and the girl standing off looking at the uh, Jupiter landscape. And I liked the idea a little bit, but it just was not working. So we kept going. And I'm gonna, this, this, this is all in order of when I found the photos and what I was looking at. So I had here another landscape photo I downloaded. These are stock images, most of them. And so I was looking for, for weird trees and um, sky, and as you can see, I just kept downloading things. And I really liked this photo here. Um, as you, some of the designs you see in a few minutes, uh, I used this quite a bit. Didn't end up on the final cover, but I played around with it a lot. Um, and these are the swirling clouds. Now what's interesting is that this photo was something I downloaded um, when I was looking at the Jupiter Winds cover, but I didn't use it for Jupiter Winds. However, I ended up using it in Jupiter Storm. As you can see in the distance here behind Gray, uh, those storm clouds were downloaded in the concept phase of Jupiter Winds. Uh, I was looking here for, for strange twisting trees, uh, more trees and more trees, and oh, what's that? It is a Tasmanian tiger, <laughs> which did not make it on the cover, but, and a tiger, plays a very important role in Jupiter Winds. Kept, I just kept downloading things, as you can see, and I think that's what we end up a lot of times finding what we're looking for just by getting as many ideas as possible. Um, just kept going with these different stock photos. None of them were really like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, I have to use it. Um, here's another beginning of a concept, another tree. And this I liked, I really liked the spaceship um, which I used in one, and the smoke. I really like the spaceship and the smoke. Um, and so I ended up with this concept that has the cool spaceship and the smoke didn't work so well. But it was giving me an idea of something that would be striking, I hoped. And I don't know what that is, a tree, I guess, and a tiger. <laughs> and I just kept going and going and I'm looking for another girl. I, was, I tried really hard to find a girl who was running away from some kind of danger, um, as this is the girl that I ended up using quite a bit in some of my mock-ups, but ended up not using on the final cover. This looked neat to me. Um, border, I just kept going, and this I wanted to maybe, uh, whoops, I wanted to maybe use, I wanted to maybe use this in, in making a uh, the Mazar symbol flames. I think I was trying to do in the symbol um, as well. There's another mock-up with those trees and the swirling clouds and the girl, but it didn't work. And then, so here's another one with uh, trying to come up with a master symbol. Oh, and there's a nice photo. Anybody who's read Jupiter Winds would probably guess who that's supposed to be. We just keep going. So again, another mock-up with the same trees, but didn't work so well. I put some mountains in the background and that didn't work either. I thought I would use that lady um, which was also not so great. So I thought this was an interesting concept, again, trying to find another spaceship, and we just keep going with these ideas. This one I really liked, this concept, um, but it's still, to me, something was missing. And I was experimenting with the spaceship that was used, and the, the, it just kept going. More trees, as you can see, I kind of had a fascination for the trees. Um, more ideas, more rocks. Um, I loved the spaceship, but I, but as you know, as you can see, the final, we didn't end up with a spaceship because a lot of times simple is better. 
and again a spaceship and smoke and more smoke and what was kind of cool was I took the uh, I believe I took the fire from the jet here and put it on this spaceship which again I did not use but we were just experimenting with the concept and this curl was one I was going to put on the cover but she ends up looking a little too much like a Rambo wannabe and more st just keep going this one I was I was getting close I thought maybe I was closer to the to what I wanted on this Jupiter winds here but no it just did not work more experimenting and I just nothing was working on this cover um, and so I finally I started to get frustrated because I was close to using something similar to this but then I got the opinion of somebody who really knew what they were doing as far as cover design and they kind of showed me how this wasn't working. Thank you Kirk. But um, we kept going. Someday I may use this girl on a cover but we'll see. So now going into, I was thinking, oh, let's put a symbol on the cover since that's what a lot of people do on covers like this and it's just concepts I was looking at here, the, like a drone. Um, <laughs> as you can see, we just kept going. This was me experimenting a little bit with the Mastar symbol. This was the stock, just a photo I found online of what I imagined Jet looking like. Um, so we just kept going. As you can see, the, just the thought process behind this. Um, none of these were working all that well. Um, Though I don't mind that star, that's kind of neat. Uh, ooh, look at those eyes. So then I had the idea to put those on the back of the cover. Uh, back to the trees. Look at these little eyes right here. Those were kind of fun, but didn't use them. Black and white, just color for title. Oh, there's Mrs. March. <laughs> um, more clouds, more landscape, more frustration for me as I was... Those are really really neat clouds but they didn't end up on the cover again we keep going 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 another girl for gray but I'm lightning I thought that would be neat to include so I was getting closer to an idea that I liked I was leaning towards this this concept it looked a little bit like some of the older science fiction stuff I had seen but just not a hundred percent again I was like okay let's try something completely different just the symbol nope how about some lightning nope and how about some really scary robots? No, I didn't use those. Um, and so kept going, kept going. Okay, how about a really weird spaceship? No, no, really. This, this, I liked, I liked this idea actually because it's just the spaceship. But again, it just did not appeal. Oh, there's sort of what I picture gray like. Um, kept going. I'm just showing you here. And oh, look at that. I found this picture that really I thought was neat and I had had that picture for a long time just as an idea for a um, a cover at some point I didn't know that it would work for Jupiter winds and so then I found that as we're getting a lot closer here because then I found this really cool background okay so then we came upon the design that I ended up using so this was the first mock-up of Jupiter Winds. Very, very rough, as you can see. Um, but it was simple, in a way. And I think that really helped with this whole, whole concept. Um, I was experimenting a little with some of the writing and everything and the glow. Um, but it ended up, as you know, this is the final version. It ended up very close to this. And then as we went, now we have the high-resolution photos. And then we just kept going with the spine, and this is uh, some of the earlier mock-ups of the whole book. And I just changed a few things here and there, but this ends up the final. So that's Jupiter Winds went through very many uh, mock-ups. Jupiter Storm did not have quite as many mock-ups because I had some interesting ideas from, as you can see, what I worked on with Jupiter Winds. I'm going to find a folder for Jupiter uh, Storm, which at the time the, I was calling Jupiter Fire. So what's interesting about this, this particular book is I, I, want, I thought, well, let me try to go back to the original concept I had with Jupiter Winds. Maybe I can use it for Jupiter Storm, which I was calling Jupiter Fire. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll just try that. But again, I ran into the same problem. It just didn't seem to to work for me. I still was looking for a girl running away from something. So I downloaded a couple more photos like that. 
Um, and I kind of liked this idea. The yellow was neat, but it just wasn't clicking for me. So then I went to, okay, let's have a spaceship. But then it started to get a little too literal. Uh, then, at th that, then I started calling it Jupiter Escape. Um, and then I went back to Jupiter Fire <laughs> and adjusted the, the coloring. I thought, well, let me try going back to the symbol. No, that didn't work. Um, and so then I ended up looking for more photos of the model that was used in Jupiter Winds. I looked for more photos of her, and I found one. Um, found a couple. In fact, that I'm not sure if that's the same girl or not right there. But uh, so as you can see, I kind of was once again <laughs> trying trees. This is the same girl that might end up on a, another cover someday. So this right here is really interesting because this is the photo that is used, the photo of the girl's face that is used on Jupiter Storm. But as you can see, her dress is, her attire, I should say, is not the way you would picture Gray Alexander looking on Jupiter. As you can see, we have completely different clothes on her. So I used the face, and in fact, uh, I used the face and the hair, but changed everything else. Um, I was looking for weird spaceships and weird clouds and things of that sort. I was looking for a, some kind of uniform or a leather jacket or something, so I found this. didn't end up using it, but I was looking. Um, this was a really early mock-up of the cover with just the girl and the clouds, but I had kept her coat, um, didn't quite fit the story. So, oh, there's a Zors. <laughs> so I began looking for clothing that would fit, and I found these paramedic uh, photos, and that was close to what I wanted. This photo here was actually what I used to create the um, coat of Gray Alexander on Jupiter Storm. But as you can see, we had, excuse me, as we can see, we had to take off the words paramedic, take off the stethoscope. But that was doable, but I was again looking for other jackets, and this jacket was kind of cool with the pockets, I was thinking about that. So I ended up experimenting a little here on the very rough, uh, but it, it's a little bit not quite right. So, but I got to see what it would look like with the girl. Um, th and I put them side by side early on so that I could try to match the title and that sort of thing. So um, I just kept going I and I started looking again for more paramedic uniforms and more, th more uh, ideas. I, I ended up with these clouds, which like I said, were originally used in Jupiter Wind, uh, or in some of the early mock-ups. And this is the high resolution photo of the girl. And this is the high resolution of the paramedic. And so we put them together, and we ended up with this. And I don't think I did a whole, I didn't really do too many mock-ups of Jupiter Storm, because I had an idea of what I wanted. And this here is, oh, the nose went on the back. The eyes. Um, in fact, I don't know if we can see, oh, these eyes were, these are the eyes that came from this puma. Um, I think that was all that I had on the Jupiter Storm. And there's the final product there, or close to the final product, um, with gray on the cover. So there you go. I hope that you find that kind of interesting. You can get Jupiter Winds or Jupiter Storm at any of the online sites. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you.